What's up guys? Today we're going to be showing you how super easy it is to install Super ATV's rear receiver hitch on this Polaris Razor Pro R. So let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to do is remove both rear wheels and tires. Now we're going to remove our radius arm hardware. I'm going to start with the upper radius arm. The 21 millimeter socket and a 21 millimeter wrench. Once you get the nut removed, grab a hold of the rotor, pick up, pull your radius arm hardware out. What I like to do is just take my radius arm hardware, stick it right back in the radius arm that I removed it from. That way you don't lose any hardware, you know exactly where it goes. I'm going to remove the lower radius arm hardware. Again, wiggle the trailing arm so you can get your bolt loose. Put your hardware back in it. Let your radius arm hang down. Now we're going to remove our inner radius arm hardware. Let's take your wrench. There's a little hole in the bottom. Of the now we're going to remove our inner radius arm hardware. There's a hole in the frame to where you can slide your wrench through. Move the nut. Once your nuts are removed, remove your bolts. Pull your radius arms out. And again, make sure you put your nuts on. That way you know exactly where your hardware goes. So we're going to take our rear receiver hitch and our provided hardware, take our upper radius arm, slide it onto one of our bolts, take it, line it up with the hole. And then reach behind, start the nut. Then we're just going to repeat the same step with the other upper radius arm, get all our hardware started.
Now we're going to grab our radius arm. You want to ensure that the orientation is just like so, so that the innermost portion of the radius arm is bent up like this. We'll lift up on our plate, get our hardware through, let it hang. And then you can reach right up through the hole in the bottom of the frame to start your nut. Now we're going to come down here and remove the two 13 millimeter bolts securing this guard to the trailing arm. You don't have to do it, it just makes it easier to install the radius arm. Kind of rotate it out of the way. It's good enough. Now we're going to go ahead and fully tighten all of our innermost radius arm hardware. Now we're going to install our upper radius arm using the factory hardware. Then fully tighten our outer hardware and reinstall the hardware for our shield.
So once you have all your hardware fully tightened, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV's rear receiver hitch on this Flaris Razor Pro-R. Be sure to check the description below for a link to pick yours up today. And while you're there, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.